Welcome to my second devlog for Prisma. In the last video, we took a look at everything that I have so far, and that's mostly the basics of the game. So now that the basics are there, it's time to start improving my workflow so I can create content for the game faster. So in this video, I'm going to tackle my road system and house creation workflow. First up, I want to improve my road system. When I created this, I was still kind of figuring out how to map pixel art to 3D objects and keep a somewhat consistent pixel size. So I ended up creating the roads you see here as one big mesh and trying to use the UVs cleverly to keep the texture size small. And it works fine, but I think I can make it modular. That way I can create roads in chunks to be assembled in Unity rather than having to make them all in Blender and having to UV map everything individually. First, I need to figure out what road chunks I will need. Uh, we have the obvious straight and turn pieces, but there are also a few more like the three-way piece, the four-way piece for good measure, and I want to make uh, like an end cap so we can create um, the end of the road at some point and it won't just cut off like it does now. So this is the UV map that I have currently. I'm going to take each of these different chunks out and I'm gonna put them in the same 96 by 96 uh, image file. That way I should be able to swap them out over the same plane and get different sections of road. Okay, so this is two of the straight road chunks side by side and I think it works perfectly. They just use a quad with a texture on them and there's no seam or anything between them that is visible and I think that works well. So now when I need, need to create a new road, I can basically just create new pixel art and plop them in here on these planes. So now the only issue is the walkway into the houses, but I think if I'm clever about this, I can make them so they don't have to be confined to the position of the tiles. So I made the path into the house their own tile, but I can just have them overlap the road um, basically on top of it. So it covers up the border and allows me to place the path anywhere along the road. I don't have to line them up with the rest of the tiles this way. I'm pretty happy with that result. So before I move on, I'm gonna take a quick break and play with Eevee. All right, next up, I want to tackle my house system. Um, this was actually the hardest part so far. I couldn't really decide how I wanted to handle both the art style of the houses and the assembly and modeling of the houses because I know that I'll be making a ton of houses throughout the development of this game and I don't want them all to look exactly the same. So I need to make this, the process of making various houses somewhat easy. I ended up going through about four revisions before I landed on something that I liked. Um, I actually tried to write this video about three different times, but I just wasn't satisfied with how it came together. So I'm just going to take you from my first attempt to my current process. This was the first house that I created. Um, this is actually the second thing I put on the map right after the tree you see sitting next to it. And at this point, I didn't even know what I wanted the setting to be or the architecture style. So I just created a modern style house with siding and shingles. Uh, I also created a few, a few props to place around the house, like a bed, a shelf, and a fence. Um, I liked the overall look, but the process was a bit too involved to make a bunch of them because I had to model it, do the pixel art and UV map, um, and all of that individually, which is doable. It's just very time consuming. So on to attempt number two. This one, I tried to get a bit more clever with the UV maps. Also, I didn't really do much in terms of the style. It's just a generic, uh, generic lab looking building. I started by separating the floor, walls, and roof. This allowed me to focus on each individually and potentially even swap out the different textures. Um, the big problem with this one is that I didn't standardize the dimensions of the walls and it proved to be just as much work as the first houses. 
Attempt number three was a bit of a step back. Um, I knew I wanted to go modular, but I think I overcorrected in that direction. I went with more of a sim style building um, in terms of putting each individual wall and floor tile in place. Um, I did figure out a nice method of fitting the different corners and sides into one UV map and using Unity's tiling and offset feature for textures to place them correctly. But just as I was finishing this one, I had a better idea of uh, how to go about it. And that all leads us to attempt number four, and this is what I'm going with for now at least. Um, I had the thought that instead of making the houses modular, I could make the textures standar standardized. That way I could model a few base houses, then I can just create a few textures and they can be applied to any of the houses and the map correctly. Um, I actually liked this method far more than the others, so I created a few extra buildings to test it out. So that way I can just create a few houses and then create a few textures and I get far more possibilities out of those. I also decided on a style to go with. Um, obviously this is a fantasy world, so I don't want to just copy um, houses that exist in the real world, but I needed something to take inspiration from. Um, originally I thought about the traditional fantasy medieval style, but I wanted to do something a little bit different than that. Um, and I've been obsessed with ancient civilizations for a long time, so I decided to go with inspiration in the form of ancient Greece and Rome. I'm obviously using these as loose inspiration, but it gives me a base that I can work from and kind of um, work in the technology of my world. Well, I think this is coming along nicely. I think uh, in the next video, we will Im implement some items and maybe do some more pixel art decorations to liven the place up a little bit. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.